to neighboring Mozambique, where the government ha of, of the country has banned the Johanne Marengi apostolic sect for allegedly encouraging child marriage and disregarding health issues. The controversial religious sect, which has its origins in Zimbabwe, is one of the churches which Zimbabwe, Mozambique, I beg your pardon, banned. According to Albachia Makasa, the National Director of Justice, Constitutional and Religious Affairs in Mozambican Ministry of Justice, the Johanna Marange religious sect in the central province of Manika is allegedly promoting child marriage and disrespecting health issues. Speaking on the draft law, he said that the new law will provide for the registration of a religious denomination with a minimum of 2,000 faithful, in contrast to the current law which recognizes any religious body with a minimum of 500 faithful. To speak more on the rights of young girls, we are joined by Kudzai Dibisu Seriwa, child rights special worker based in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Child rights violations and child marriage are the issue here. Let's talk about the dangers and the effect of these acts on the mental and physical health of young girls and who are victims of this? Yeah, so unfortunately, um, child abuse and in particular child marriage have become very rampant in recent years. And we have seen so many gruesome cases um, being reported in the media of late. Um, in Zimbabwe, statistics show actually that one in three girls are married before the age of 18. And this is according to the multiple indicator cluster survey of 2019. The effects of child abuse, uh, child sexual abuse and child marriage on girls is far reaching and so detrimental. To start off with, it steals their childhood. Instead of them being children, being in school, they're now expected to behave as wives and not as children. And in many cases, failure to behave as a wife or appropriately as expected can result in gender-based violence. Uh, in many cases, these unions, these premature unions are intergenerational and they are not able to negotiate for safe sex. Uh, they're not able to protect themselves in terms of health, um, it can lead to early uh, pregnancies that can be very complicated. We've seen cases of young girls dying during child labor. Um, it also has a very detrimental effect on the economy of the country because these young girls, uh, they perpetuate a cycle of poverty and, um, and are not able to contribute to the economy of the country. Uh, religious beliefs, as is the case in the story we just um, um, shared, is often the excuse given how is it in this case, whenever this issue of child marriage come up, how justifiable can this be as an excuse? Child marriage is not justifiable under any circumstances. Children should not be married. They should uh, be children. They should be allowed to, to develop and they should be in school. Um, but you'll find that oftentimes um, religious beliefs, cultural beliefs, traditional beliefs, um, moral and cultural practices are used as excuses for girls getting married. We've seen in, in some case what we call the Zokera Kwawaba phenomenon, uh, where young girls are sent back if they arrive home late, they're told to go back where they've been. And this has often led many girls into marriages. Uh, also, I think our communities have no clue how to handle sexual reproductive health issues when it comes to adolescence. And when it is suspected um, that a child has become sexually active, they're forced into child marriage. So there are many factors that lead young girls into, into child marriage. Poverty is also an excuse that is used, but it is not justifiable under any circumstances. Uh, we understand that the church involved in this uh, particular report is from Zimbabwe. Uh, what can you tell us about some of the practices that leave these young girls vulnerable, vulnerable rather, that you may be aware of? Um, so I, I can confirm, uh, uh, to the best of my knowledge, that Johan Marange Church is um, active in Zimbabwe. Um, and I do, be, I do believe that um, there are many things around the church um, that have been in the media. Um, and last year, we had a case of a young girl who um, died at uh, one of the religious uh, healers' uh, premises while she was giving birth. 
Um, and it is said that the family refused to take her to the hospital. Um, so cases like that have been featuring in the media. And it's always a call on government to make sure that um, young children that are vulnerable can have access to help, can have access to protection, um, and are not exposed to any child rights violations. Kadzai Vimbiso, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you.